Alright then, so we've seen now how we can serve up our Gatsby project using Gatsby Developer and we can preview it in the browser over here. Now the content we have at the minute is very minimal, we just see this hello world for the homepage and this content is being driven by this React component right here, the index.js file inside pages. So what if we want to just change this content a little bit? Well all I have to do is update this template. So I'm going to create something a bit more complex, still very simple, and I'll just paste this in. So it's a section, then inside a div, then we have an h2 that says design, then an h3, and then a paragraph tag at the bottom. So if I save this now, then we should see that new content on the home page. Awesome. But what if we want other pages? How does this work in Gatsby? Well, it's dead, dead simple to do. All we have to do is create another file inside the pages folder. So if I was to create a new file called about.js, I could come in here and create a new React component, which I'll do by saying RFC, that stands for React Functional Component, press tab, and it boilerplates this component for me. I'm gonna call this about. And the reason I can do that, by the way, is because I've got a package installed called React Snippets, this thing right here. So if you install that for VS Code, you'll gain access to a load of different snippets and shortcuts that you can use. So this one was RFC, React Functional Components. Now inside this, I'm gonna do just a very, very simple template. So I'll do an H1 and that will say about page. Below that, I'm gonna do a paragraph tag and place some lorem ipsum inside there and duplicate it a couple of times. All right, so if we save this now, we should have an about page. But how do we get to that about page? Well, what Gatsby does is look at the file name and it creates a route to match that file name. So in our case, about is just gonna be forward slash about the name of the file. So not about.js, that wouldn't make any sense, just forward slash about. And if we go there, it's gonna let this component drive that content for that route. But then what about index.js? Because we didn't go to forward slash index for that and this doesn't show us that page. This page, is shown when we just go to forward slash, the base route. And this file is the exception to the rule. When we have an index.js file, it doesn't create a route forward slash index, it just creates a base route. So what if I want some kind of subdirectory in a route? For example, if I'm gonna go to forward slash maybe projects and then forward slash something else. Well, to do that, all I have to do is create a folder inside the pages folder and we'll call this projects. That's gonna be whatever you want the sub route to be. So this thing right here. And then inside here, I could create a new file called test.js. And then again, RFC, we'll call this test. And then inside here, I'll just do test like so. Now, if I go to forward slash project and forward slash test, it's gonna find that component and show it on the page. So that's how we make subdirectories using folders inside the pages folder. All right then, so what if I now create an index.js file inside this folder? Let me just flesh this out first, then we'll try it. So RFC, and then we'll call this projects, because ultimately this is gonna be the page that lists all of our different projects. And then I just wanna do a very simple template inside here. So I'll paste that in, like so an H2 and an H3, that's all there is to it at the moment. Now, if I save this, what's gonna be the route for this page? Well, it's an index file, and remember, when I said we create one of these, it just creates the base route for that directory. So to see this page, we just go to forward slash projects, and that's it. So if I go to forward slash projects like this, then we should see the portfolio page right here, or the projects page. Cool. So that's how simple it is to create pages and routes inside a Gatsby project. So there's one more thing I wanna show you and that's how to create a custom 404 page because at the minute, if we go to something that doesn't exist and press enter, then we get this kind of development error page. If we click on this preview custom 404 page, we don't actually get one. It says a custom 404 page wasn't detected. And it says, if you want one, just create something called 404.js inside the pages folder. So that's what we'll do, new file, and we'll call this 404.js. Make sure it doesn't go into projects, just into pages. And then inside here, let's create this component. I'm gonna call it not found, 
And then inside here, we just need a template. I'm gonna keep it really simple, H2 that says 404. And below that, I'm gonna do a paragraph tag that says, sorry, that page doesn't exist. Now, in production, make sure you make a better 404 page than this because this one sucks. I just wanna demo how you can create this. But now if we go to something that doesn't exist, we're still gonna see during development, the Gatsby development 404 page. And that's just to help us as developers. But you can preview our custom 404 page now here and we see it. And that is what users will see when you deploy your application to the web if they go to a route that doesn't exist. All right, so now we know a little bit more about pages and routes. In the next video, what we're gonna do is create a nav bar so we can link to different pages.